hey there, what's up? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog, and in this video, I wanna show you a little trick in Google Earth that maybe you knew about, maybe you didn't, but either way, I wanna show you what it is and how it can be useful to you if you're a land investor or really a real estate investor of any kind. And what this little tool is, is the historical imagery button right up here at the very top of Google Earth. And the reason this is kinda cool and kinda helpful is because you can click this and you'll notice that the images go all the way back to 1984 in this example and right now I'm looking at my neck of the woods over in West Michigan and you know we can bring this all the way back to 1984 and see what was different over 20 years ago and from my perspective this is helpful for a couple reasons first of all let's say I'm looking to buy a piece of land or really any type of property and I'm trying to figure out if that property is in the path of growth like if the city is growing in that direction and where all of the building and development has been happening happening historically over the past 20 years. Well, this allows me to do that. And it's really as easy as just looking at the map and seeing, okay, what areas of town were vacant 10 or 20 years ago in which of those areas now have houses or buildings or some other kind of development built on them? Because that's a pretty clear indicator that that is a direction in which the city is growing. So for example, I'm gonna just zoom in here on an area of town called Granville, which is kind of like a suburb of Grand Rapids. And Something that happened in this part of town about 15 years ago was they built this massive shopping center called the Rivertown Mall. And if we go over here and zoom in, this right here is where that is. So for example, if we move this imagery to you know, 1997, we see there's just this big open field. There's not a lot going on here. We've got some houses over here to the north and a couple neighborhoods down here to the south. But this whole area is just kind of a big blank canvas, not much going on. If we fast forward a couple years to 1999, we can see now it's under construction. And when we move ahead to, I don't know, say 2005, now we can see the mall is built and not only a mall, but also this right here is a grocery store. We've got all this stuff over here, this stuff over here, We've got a giant development down here and down there. And as the years have gone by, this area has continued to develop all because this thing was put in place and it just basically brought a lot of business to the area and a lot of people trying to piggyback off the success of this mall. If we bring this over here to the present day, 2016, 2017, they also built another huge development over here. So really this area, which didn't have a ton going on 20 years ago, is now booming with lots of people going in and out of this area. And as a result, they have also built a lot of new residential neighborhoods around here. For example, if we just zoom out a little bit and then take this historical imagery and bring it back to 1999, we can see that a lot of stuff that is there today was not necessarily there over 15 years ago. We can kind of toggle between the two and we can see, you know, this neighborhood is new, this neighborhood is new. You can really go back and forth as much as you want in order to get a good feel for what is there now that wasn't there back then. But the reason this is helpful is because if I'm looking at buying land in this area of town or even, you know, further south, what this is telling me is that over the course of 10 or 20 years, a lot of stuff has grown in this direction and there's still a lot more room for it to grow. And chances are more than likely that it's gonna continue going in this direction. Whether the economy crashes tomorrow or whether it does awesome, there is most likely going to be a lot of growth that happens in this direction. And if we zoom out and see greater Grand Rapids, we can kind of do a similar thing where we just sort of toggle it back and forth and just notice which parts of town were pretty much vacant back then and which ones are pretty full now and we can see there's been a lot of development over here if we go up to this area we can see there's been a lot that happened up here a lot that happened over in this neck of the woods just kind of keep going back and forth and back and forth and you can see you know this is another example over here in the walker area there's just been a lot of stuff going in these directions and these can be pretty good indicators of which townships are growing and which directions the growth is going in now something else that can be helpful with this historical imagery is say if you were looking to buy a vacant lot or even a property that has some improvements on it this historical historical imagery tool can be a really good way to find out what's been going on at this property over the past 10 or 20 years. And I'll just show you one example here. If we zoom in over here, this development that you can see right here. This is a big planned residential subdivision that has not been built out yet, but all the infrastructure is there. We've got a nice little grocery store in this area. And if we go back in time, let's say, I don't know, back to 2006, we can see 
this grocery store was not here and none of this development had been done yet. And it was really basically just farmland at that point. If we go further back in time, as far back as we can go, all the way back to 1999, we can get another look at what the property looked like 15 plus years ago. Something I have seen in the past when using this kind of historical imagery is sometimes I've been looking at a property and it looks fine today, but when I go back five or 10 years, I can see that there was a mobile home on that property or there was a gas station right across the street or or somebody had trashed the property and there was garbage all over the place and today it's been cleaned up so it's fine but somebody in the past had been abusing that property in some way and this historical imagery gives you a really good way to see what's been going on at that location in the past and I will say that this imagery isn't always available in every location sometimes you may only have a couple of additional snapshots other than the present day sometimes you'll have like 10 different snapshots to look at so it just kind of depends on where you're at but it's always something that's worth checking out just to see if you can get a better perspective for what's been going on at that property in the past. It's one of those things where, you know, nine times out of 10, you're not going to really see any big issues from it, but you never really know what you'll find out by doing this. And the only way you're going to learn something is if you try and just check it out and see what's been going on. So that's a nice little feature and tool that's available again, totally for free in Google Earth. And if it's there for free, you might as well use it. So hopefully you learned something new here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.